New York City was recently given the title of the world's most expensive city. So is it possible to live or visit here for free? It turns out there are secret ways to do so, including this one for zero dollars. So let's get into it. To make this video a little bit harder, I'm not gonna include the basic stuff that you're gonna see everywhere about what to do for free. However, if you are new to New York City, let me just cover five absolute essential free things that that you need to do while you're here and then we'll get to the expert hacking. Number one, New York City attractions. Most famous attractions are free, so you can see the Empire State Building. You can come here to Central Park, walk around, go to Fifth Avenue, Times Square, see the Brooklyn Bridge. Of course, you're not gonna get context or historical references to what you're looking at, so if you want that, I do recommend doing our Musty Manhattan tour. It's a two-hour walking tour where you see all the highlights, but that's for a different video. Let's get to number two, Broadway in the Park. This is actually really cool. Did you know you can see some of the best Broadway shows in the city that are normally very expensive for free. It happens Tuesdays for six weeks in August. You're gonna see things like The Lion King's hit, Moulin Rouge, and many others. It's first come, first serve. They actually put a stage right here, and then you sit on the grass and watch. It's amazing. Number three, free movie screenings. A lot of parks in New York do this. They set up a huge projector, and then they'll play iconic movies and newer movies completely for free. One of them is here at Bryant Park. They do it right on this grass here. They do that on Tuesdays from June to August. And then the other one that I really love is Brooklyn Bridge Park. That is Thursdays in July and August, and that one's amazing because you have a beautiful New York City skyline behind you. Bring some food. I always like to do like a little dinner picnic. It's awesome. Number four, free kayaking. Super fun, right? You can actually do it at six different locations in the city. My favorite is at Brooklyn Bridge Park. They also do it in Long Island City, Queens, various locations in Brooklyn and in Staten Island. So you have a lot of options to choose from. All you need to do is reserve in advance. It's on select days and it's first come, first serve in some locations. I'll put an article below with more info. It's great and it's fun and it's different. Number five, the free summer concert series and seeing free shows. So you can actually come here to Central Park and see Good Morning America's summer concert series Fridays in the summer. You can see famous artists and performers. I saw Nicki Minaj here. I saw Backstreet Boys for free. All the information to get tickets to that will be linked below. The other one is you can get free tickets to The Colbert Show, Jimmy Fallon, SNL, and many more through one iota. You just have to request these a few weeks in advance and all that information will also be below. Now that we've covered the basic ways to do New York City for free, let's get into the expert hacking. Did you know that it's possible to get around New York City for free? I didn't believe it at first, but then I tried it and it worked and I was like, whoa, this is crazy. So I gotta share it with you because although the subway is very cheap, it's only $2.75 to get around, which is a great deal. You can get around completely for free in a Tesla. Hey, who doesn't like that? I sure do. So I discovered that Revel is a new ride sharing app. It's competing with Uber, it's competing with Lyft, and so they're looking for people to use their car. And they will pick you up in a beautiful sky blue Tesla, and you can get $20 off your first ride if you use the promo code right here. You can share your promo codes with each other so you can use it multiple times, which I probably shouldn't say on camera to be honest. I started doing this, now Lucas, the cameraman, has it. So Lucas, hand over your phone. Let's see if we can get a free Revel ride using the code. So I'm gonna go to redeem promo code, redeem code. Okay, it's $20 in ride credit applied. An important detail here, once you put in your info, it's gonna look like it's gonna charge you, but it won't. So we have pickup in 13 minutes. Yes, that's a while, but it's $0. And since this is a new car sharing service, they're expanding every single day, so the pickup time will get faster and faster. I just used this to get from the airport to my apartment, and they came in two minutes. So I guess it's like random. Let's get our free ride. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There he is, there's my Revel. Look at that, look at that. Isn't it cool? It's so obvious, that's what I like about it. You can see it very clearly. Hello. Look how clean this car is. It's a brand new Tesla. And the entire ceiling of the car is a sunroof, so you can look up at all the buildings from above. It's so much better than an Uber and a Lyft. And zero dollars on your first ride. So our driver just told us that this is actually kind of a safer way to get around the city because if someone runs in front of the car, it stops itself. If the driver gets on the phone, it, the car tells the driver to get off the phone. I wanted to show a few cool things that you can do in the city that normally would cost money, but do them for free. So we are here in Bryant Park. It's a beautiful spring day. Is that Mr. Bryant's idea? 
That is actually William Cullen Bryant. He was a journalist in the uh, 1800s, and he was all about like helping people and helping those in need. And so that kind of is like the essence of Bryant Park. It's also attached to the New York Public Library, which is completely free, free education for all. That was what it was built on, and that is what it continues to be. So today we're going to be doing a free juggling class. <laughs> I am very bad at catching any type of balls. <laughs> so this does not look very promising to me, but let's come along. Come, come, come. Anyone can join this. Bryant Park has a calendar of events on their site. They have everything from free juggling to free fencing to free yoga. Literally free everything. You want jugglers free? Yes, I want to try it. Oh God. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready for two balls? <laughs> I feel like I am not ready for two balls. Yes, you After are. After you're doing this, Lucas. Throw the puck above your head to your left. Okay. It's coming down, take this ball. Uh -huh. Don't pass it. Don't pass it. Toss it up in the air just like the first ball to that hand. Can you see it? Oof. One, two, three. Yeah! That was better! Can you correct them? Is this a competition? All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Not even close. It's Lucas's turn to do juggling. Lucas said he's been practicing juggling. I have not been practicing, but while you were in Thailand, because I had so much free time, you know, and didn't have work to do, <laughs> I was like, I'm just gonna learn juggle on YouTube one day. Because I was like, why not? I feel like this skill is gonna come in handy one day. And I guess it is. So I'm not great, first off, but I think better than Sarah. Further than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> if you recognize me on the street, give me three tennis balls and I'll do the act for you. I'm doing it, Sarah. That's the longest I've ever done it. I'm so impressed with myself. So as you can see, many options of juggling here, and it's all free. Leonard will be here maybe, and he can teach you how to juggle, because I got further than I expected. I'm not going to lie. Let's go see what else we can do for free here in New York. Want even more free? As a thank you for watching this video, I'll give you my new and improved three-day guide to New York City, plus my neighborhood guides. Get access through my Bubble Up folder in the link below. I'm feeling a little hungry after that juggling, and I want to test something. Now, it's uh, tricky to get free food in the city, but I found a way to do it, and it is an app called Seated. <laughs> you get it? It's literally called Seated, though. <laughs> All these restaurants around New York that are really great, and are looking for more people to come inside and dine will offer flash discounts during the day for people to come in and book a seat at these restaurants. So you can do a walk-in or you could just go there, but you gotta book it through Seated and by doing this, you can get a 50% off. That's the benefit of getting it discounted. But the way you get it for free is you essentially share your promo code with people and every time someone uses your promo code to get $15 off their meal, you get $15 towards dining. Before this video, I posted a newsletter and I've been talking about it in a few other videos. So I've actually gotten several credits lined up here and we're going to redeem some of them. It's more than just food. So you can actually get credits towards flights, hotels, Airbnb. I'm going to use this to get free food right now. I highly encourage you to download Seated to get a discounted meal while you're here. And if you use my promo code right here on screen, then you'll get $15 off after you dine at your first spot. I'm so excited. I just opened Seated to see what we could get and it says, we dropped money in your wallet. Yes, that means one of you lovely viewers, I think, used my code. This is how Lucas and I get caffeine and food whenever we're out filming is we literally use all the Seated credits that you guys give us from the videos. So thank you for that. All right, so here's all the options of stuff we can get for free and we're going to do Starbucks. So I just buy a credit with Starbucks and then I swipe to purchase, which is not really purchasing. It's just like redeeming some of the credits and then it gives me a gift card. Great. So now I have my gift card. I put this in the Starbucks app, by the way, because I found out that by adding the gift card to the Starbucks app, I actually get double the points because when you buy something through the Starbucks app, you get star rewards. And so like for every time I redeem a, a seated gift card, I'll get even double through the app. So it's like a forever gaining free food. My order is submitted. It's here for zero dollars. Thanks everyone for using the seated code. But the important detail here is you can do the same thing by sharing your seated code with your friends and getting credits or just dine using seated and save a bunch of money. 
Either way, you're saving money. All right, Lucas, you ready to eat? All right. Uh, so I just headed over here to the Bank of America Tower Courtyard, I guess you could call it. It's an indoor space to eat for free, and it's really pretty, and there's tables and greenery and our free meal. Mm. Nothing tastes better than free. Cheers. Now that we have that tasty meal, it's time to do something else. So we're here at the MoMA. Normally the MoMA costs $25 to get in per person, but there is a way to do it for free. And that is you go on Fridays from 4 to 8 p.m. Now the MoMA stands for the Museum of Modern Art. It's one of the most prestigious museums. And New York has a lot of the most famous museums in the world. The good news is a lot of them are pay what you wish or have free days. And I have an article below that lists all of the museums in the city that offer free entry or pay what you wish for more museum options. Look at that. But right now we're gonna check out the MoMA. It's pretty crowded today because it is a free day. But hey, we saved $25 for me and $25 for Lucas. And I'm all about that. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa. Oh, wow. I guess I don't understand modern art. Did you know? That modern art is from 1890 to 1970. Oh, so you were born during the modern art era. <laughs> no, I wasn't. An iPad? What is it? iPod. <laughs> that is um, Fortnite. Suck it. Take two. It's Minecraft, right? And he's doing a good job. I tried to play Fortnite with Louis' little brother. Horrible game. I don't get it. I'm sorry for those that like it. It is like way too much going on. I don't even know what this thing is. Okay, 1984, wasn't even born then. Hmm? Oh, it's shaking. So in addition to the different technology exhibits, we have some art exhibits going on right now too. We're gonna try to get something free that would be nearly impossible, and that is lodging. If you know New York, or if you've even done any searching, you know that hotels here are crazy expensive. The average hotel here is around $350 a night, and that's not even for like a good one. A great hack is to stay in Long Island City. It's very close to Midtown Manhattan, but is about a third of the price. So the way that you can actually get free lodging in the city is a combination of using Airbnb's last minute price deals, which happen the day of, and seated credits. I'm looking at my credits. We have enough to get an Airbnb reward, and then we're gonna go into Airbnb and see what we can get. This may not be the most ideal situation because you do have to be a risk taker. You may not end up with a place to stay, but hey, Central Park is right down the street. <laughs> yeah, one night for today, for one adult and we're going to search. Whoa, see, this is what I'm talking about here. We have some deals, $65 a night with a view of the Brooklyn Bridge. This is about a 50% price drop because it's last minute. So I can use my Airbnb gift card that I just got from Seated to apply to this and boom, free lodging, baby. Isn't that amazing? So that's what you can do. You can actually book multiple nights this way. I've done that before. I actually did that recently in Istanbul on a trip. That's how you get free lodging in New York City. But that's not all you need to know when visiting New York. Check out my video on how to save money in the city and 20 tips you can't miss right here.